Welcome back everybody, Mark with Exotic Car Play Place. Today a continuation of the vlog from the weekend where we talked about what happened to this car, my X5. All of a sudden this thing shit out of code and I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I plugged into the machine and I figured out what the problem was and we'll talk about that tomorrow. But today we're also going to talk about how would you clean your car. As you can see there's lots of snow on here, some of which I threw on there obviously for a makeup. We're going to talk about how I came about cleaning my expensive car. Now, just because you know it is not a $200,000 car doesn't mean you don't want the paint looking nice. I mean, you've got a car like this here, which of course, you wouldn't use a scraper on that. You wouldn't use a shovel on that. You would use something like this on a Lambo, right? So then why wouldn't you do the same kind of treatment on this? Even though it's a daily driver, the X5, black paint, everybody knows black paint swirls. So if you have a premium car or any kind of expensive car, you want to protect your investment. And so here we have snow on here. And that's what today I want to show you guys how I came about actually doing a full snow cleanup on this car. Now, it snows here a lot where I'm from. Obviously, you can see we've got snow all over the place snow 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 that's the name of the game around here so how do we cope with the snowy conditions with you know with nice cars obviously a bmw is not a cheap car but you want to maintain it you want to look after it so the standard use of standard brushes here i'm going to show you standard brush like this you don't want to use yeah you can use it on an old beater like this volkswagen we have here People are going to clean that, you know, you got snow built up, why not, right? Let's just clean that up. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See, that's fine. This is a cheap car. We're talking about, you know, a thousand dollar car, not an expensive machine. So it doesn't really matter. But this one here, do I want to start scraping the paint with this brush? Not really. I mean, this here is very rough. And not to mention, when you're scraping, you're scraping windows, you know, you scrape in this, you might have rocks and debris that built up on your window. Now all of a sudden you've got it inside the brush. So why would I use it to brush the paint off before I go driving? The sad part is there's lots of people that just do this and they'll just, and then off they go. They'll just clean enough just to see out the little window and then they'll drive away like that. Lots of people drive like that where I see, where I come from. You don't want to do that. That's very dangerous, but you don't want to use this all over the paint like that. That will scratch the paint, this garbage here. So another thing you don't want to use is this. Obviously, ooh, that would hurt. But I've seen people use it on their cars like this. Oh, look at that. Bad news, very sharp. Look at the edges on that. But people use this. So what other kind of options do we have? I want to show you the best way that I learned to remove snow from your car before setting off. If you have the time, if you have the money, there's different versions of what I will show you. And that essentially is a leaf blower. The best tool going for the job. It does two things. Well, other than using for leaves, of course. It'll blow the snow off your car for sure. That's no problem. But you can actually use it in the summertime to blow the water off after you've washed your car. It does a great job of blowing out the locks and blowing out the mirrors. The leaf blowers work great. And the reason I like the leaf blower is because it pulls fresh air into the intake and blows the same fresh air out, but just at a much higher velocity. So you're not spraying rocks, you're not spraying gravel, you're spraying accelerated air. And so as long as you're doing it in relatively clean conditions, you don't have a really dusty environment, you're gonna be putting clean air onto your car 
and it's going to clean all of this off. And I'm going to give you a short demonstration, guys. So take this for what it is. The best way to protect your paint in the winter time is two things. Number one is washing it. Obviously, this car is very, very dirty. Washing it's very, very important. But also, the other key element is not introducing more damage than you would need to. Because snow is ultimately... Snow is just water. But why would you want to have gravel and rocks or a rough brush scraped all over that? Just blow it off and I'll show you here. Let's do a demo. end of the day everybody you probably want to treat your BMW or any other premium car with as much love and care and attention as you can give it because that's ultimately what's going to pay off in the end it gives you a vehicle that shows pride it gives a vehicle that improves your resale value and at the end of the day you know what why not just take care of what you have they say your vehicle is your second largest investment in your lifetime so everybody I hope that helps in taking care of your paint on your expensive premium car for the winter time when you have lots of snow like we do up here in any of the northern states or canada you will be faced with many many days of snow on the paint how can you take care of it just like i showed you guys use a blower whenever you can keep the brushes like this off of the paint and you should be good to go thanks everybody make sure you check back on my vlog that i posted earlier this week actually that came out on Wednesday. Make sure you check out the vlog for the whole beginning of the storyline on this X5. And uh, like I said, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'd really love to see you guys on the next one. Hope to see you then. Catch you then, guys. Bye-bye.